I believe it was not last year, the year before. I'm not totally sure about that. And speaking of Zero, you know, the aftermath of Civil War saga has sort of lit a fire inside of Vinny's, motivated him to come out more and, you know, perform as best as he can. So hopefully we see some of that here against Cam in game yeah. one. Now, I think Cam's going to see a much tighter uh, sheet from Vinny. Um, but I I think the counter pick might also come into play here because Vinny uh, was primarily a solo Sheik main for a long time. Um, but has since picked up Rosalina and Cloud uh, to cover those hard to reach places. Yes, and he has discussed interest in picking up a fourth character just to cover even more of those bases. Hey man, when you're, when you're a high level player, you can literally play the entire cast. It's a matter of, you know, what you feel like doing that day. And again, it's kind of a lot of the same. Um, Vinny applying a lot of uh, pressure on Cam right now. You know, the stark difference to what we were seeing in the set against Dill, Vinny's a much more reserved player. He's much more willing to let Camille drone around and have a lot of space. But when it comes to approaching on him, he's going to have to pay the toll. And a oh, lot yeah. of that's going to come in percentage and just giving Vinny a lot of room to breathe, which you really don't want to do regardless of whatever character he's playing. Ooh, wow, just barely avoiding that up air right there. That was a very bold landing with Spin Dash. Almost got destroyed by Bouncing Fish. Oh, oh BS, BS. Shout outs. <laughs> Shout outs to the old glitch from Brawl that they fixed, but they kept this one. God, I, I cry every time. You hate to see stocks get dropped like that, but hopefully Camelidge can bring things yeah, back. Yeah, that's the ghost of Dill coming back to haunt him. <laughs> And again, Vinny just applying such great pressure right now. Just layers upon layers of, uh, you know, of coverage options. I like that he went to use the uh, the grenade to hey. that option and just stuck under him so that he was in position to put out that up smash with perfect spacing, too. Oh, yeah. Vinny putting on a, uh, a very good showing of what to do in that matchup. I don't know why you struck the FD again. <laughs> like, maybe just riding the wave of uh, the last game, but <laughs> just sort of follow in suit. Don't but you can't ride waves in New York. I mean, Th that's not part of the public transit system. Yeah. I don't know. Is is the wave late? Like, the hey man, we have a ferry. All right, you're right. You don't want waves on the ferry. Do you want a bumpy ride to work? What is this nonsense? No matter. We're going to we're going to the city. Which is more on time, the ferry or the D train? <laughs> I'm just saying, man. <laughs> All right, so Town and City once again going to be the counter pick here uh, for Cam. And you know, much in mirroring that earlier set with Dill, we see what this stage is able to provide for Cam. It's just so much room for him to operate, so much pressure. But at the same time, he has to worry about what these platforms are able to offer to Vinny. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's definitely something you have to keep in mind, especially because Sheik, a character that kills uh, vertically very well uh, also. Good use of Nair right there from Vinny. Ooh, almost getting the read right there. Uh, Cam's coming up pretty good on these uh, hard spring reads into the blast zone. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's actually my favorite mix-up with Sonic, where, like, you unsafely spin on someone's shield, and you're like, wait, yeah, just, he didn't actually just do that. <laughs> just sort of just stay in place. It's very interesting to see that as a mi general mix-up for Sonic plays. Not just Camel Age, but a lot of Sonics provide that. Whoa, there. no! <laughs> and what a mix-up we've got. The Spring Ride benefiting Vinny more than anyone else yeah. in this set. Vinny turned Cam's mix-up into a mix-up. <laughs> that was actually hilarious. Ooh, Cam going for the home run right there. But he doesn't have it quite yet. 117% buffing up a bit of the knockback behind Vinny's hits. That keep away game is just going to be so much more for Camelage to worry about as we advance Whoa. into game two. And he might be dead. Excellent evasive maneuvers from Camelage are going to keep him alive. Again, more platform shenanigans coming up. Vinny just applying a great stream of pressure. Up smash still sucks. Don't listen to what anyone says. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. But that was a good, um, you know, mix. That was a good aggressive option from Cam. Up smash one of the most, the more seldom used moves in Sonic's move set, uh, just because it's incredibly unreliable at times. So. But it's those bold options that are what's going to give Camelich all the space that he needs to try and bring this set back. Yeah, sometimes you gotta flex a little bit, man. Yep. You know, you gotta take risks in life. Fortune favors the bold, as they say. 
Now, as we saw in the last game, this is definitely uh, very doable for Cam. Uh, there's definitely a lot more time on the clock, so I don't think time's gonna be much of a factor. Right. But it definitely doesn't mean he should get complacent. Certainly. If you give Vinny too much space, you know that he's he's gonna be the one to start to say where you're moving. And once you begin to move and ways that are predictable, Vinny just starts to put out options that you would have never considered because he thinks so far ahead. It's just the mind of a top player, man. You know, Vinny, a top player uh, in Brawl, carrying that over into this game as well, so. Oh, no, Bouncing Fish might be enough. That will not be it. Excellent DI from Kamala. Just going to keep him in here. Did you see the angle that he managed to rise on that Needle Storm? The Needles replaced in the amount that they covered so much space. Oh, for sure. Going to get the up throw. Almost getting uh, a mix-up right there. Good dash attack to cover the landing. He's been getting a lot of mileage out of that against the Sheiks, too. Interesting stuff uh, to think about. Oh, no! Again, you have to be very careful on these platforms as, uh, against Sonic. Vinny has to be very careful. He is in rage death percent right now. Yeah, you know, with these percentages that we've got here, a forward yeah. air is going to do it. Looking like a melee chic out here. That was here. very unfortunate for Cam because he was kind of locked on the platform. He really didn't have a good option there because Vinny would have been able to cover all of them. So great showing for Vinny. Like I said, just playing a little bit more of a tighter uh, yep. game, especially on the platforms right there. But a good showing from Cam. Not bad, you know, not bad for someone that hasn't gone to a tournament in a while yeah, and entered know. singles. So. We've seen that, you know, he's still able to shake off the rust. He's still able to perform very yeah. well. And you see a lot of adaptive play out of Camel H. He's able to use those tools that, as we've said earlier, are a bit more bold, a bit more dangerous, but they go so far. And it's that innovative play that goes on to inspire other players. Not totally washed up. 